Yeah. So the chocolate erases memory of eons of putting, <coughs> putting the world, putting money first, putting like that. But my God, if you put the divinity first, you cannot believe what will happen. Yeah. So that's hot chocolate. Corn. I'm sorry. Corn. corn? The blue corn. Yeah. Blue cornmeal. It has to be cornmeal that's made by arrows. It has to be made by the company called Arrow. I know you won't ask me why, thank God. <laughs> yeah? But the blue cornmeal is, is incredible. Um, I had a person who has a very large company and it was having all kinds of problems administratively. Nobody took responsibility. So I said, well, if you would, everybody else would. He went, huh? And so the way we did it with him, which you can do, is you get a little bottle, or a big bottle, better to get a little bottle. Get a little bottle, and this has to be plastic. It can't be metal. Ask me why. I don't know. Yeah. OK. So now what you want to do is fill it up with tap water. I know you won't ask me why. I don't know. And then you put a, little, you put a pinch of the blue cornmeal into the tap water, and you cap it. And no matter where you go, so if you're, you're, you're here at this hotel, you just take it out, and you put it somewhere in the room, and this thing will create a vortex and suck whatever it is, earthbound spirits, entities, or whatever, like that. I hope somebody's not going to commercialize this stuff. Huh? Yeah. I'm sorry, did you say leave it open? Cap it? Cap it. Cap it. Yep. Yeah. It's an incredible cleaning tool. For example, a friend of mine's had a mother in a nursing home. I mean, she was really in bad shape. Have you ever been to a nursing home? Yes. I know you fell in love with them, didn't you? Yeah, so he put one of them, <laughs> that was funny, he put one of these things in her room, and in a couple of weeks she came home. I mean, she was spry. I mean, I mean, really. But if we hold people as old and sick, then we're going to be saddled with them. But just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Did I forget anything? Yes. Wait, wait, we need a... Did you want to say something? I wanted to share about a couple of the participants in the Zero Limits um, group seminar that I, that I did. Uh, one woman has a five-year-old daughter who has a, an affliction where she is unable to move her body. She's very, very intelligent, but she couldn't move at all. She couldn't lift an arm. And she started, she did the um, Zero Limits program, and her daughter was able to lift her arm in front of her and to actually grab onto things, which, according to the doctors, was impossible. She would never do it. Um, another woman had broken her ankle the second, at the second session, and actually wasn't in the session, and a week later was out of her cast. The doctor said, because of doing, because we did it, we all clean, and because of her cleaning, and the doctor said that, that they'd never seen anything you know, that fast. Yeah. If you have off, if you have any kind of bone problem, you have to realize how, how, what's the percentage of, of water in a bone? Water. Yeah, pretty high. So if you have you have brittle bones, it's because you're not drinking enough water. So you should not have arthritis. You shouldn't have any of these things. Because the problem is you're not drinking enough water. And if you drank enough water, you'd put a lot of people out of business. I mean, really. But the idea it would be better to drink blue solar because you're going to get to the cause of the problem. And the cause of the problem is not, is not the effect. So here's the cell, which is an effect. The problem is in the subconscious of the cell. So you have this playing, and so this goes out of rhythm. It just goes out. This is what is called cancer. 
So the idea is when you drink the blue soul water is to hit that so that divinity can erase it. You're back to zero. Now the cell gets remade by the divinity. It gets remade again because now the inspiration comes down and the cell has its back into its regular rhythm. And that's all you have to do. Just drink the water. So I see some of you have maybe arthritic kind of conditions, osteoporosis, all that sort of. But you're not drinking enough water. <laughs>